I am actually one of the first five people to beat all the five nights when the event first came out, and I will guide you on how to win all five nights. Um, first up, in order to start the thing, you, you need to go into Midtown. Preferably a VIP server. It can work in public, but I wouldn't recommend it. You break this barricade. You go to the window over here, one shot that, and then you're going to go over here to this um, computer with all the keys. This only works with the, with the default skin, so be sure to have the delinquent skin equipped. And you put in B1, M7, K2, F4, and then you click the enter button, and you'll hear a scream. Or rather laugh or something. And then you have to kill your friend or someone else four times in order to uh, trigger the deploy thing. It's kind of dumb how they require this. It, 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 it's rather a bit annoying. But yeah, you got to do that. This is my third one. Good time for the fourth kill. You shouldn't have done that. Yeah, so yeah, I've heard the uh, voice, you should have not done that. If you go back to the main menu, you get the deploy thing. This is a fresh account, by the way, so it will work guaranteed for you. Just go ahead and spam click that and then wait for the server to respawn. If for some reason it doesn't respawn, you just join an another server. And then just click that again, and then you will wait for the server to respawn. You'll go ahead and be agreed to that screen, and then it'll warn you about, you know, saying this is loud stuff, don't play if you are weak, yada, yada, yada. Just saying, I wish to proceed. And we are on night one, as you can see by the one star down there. And, um, hey, yeah, this is the easiest quit. night out of me? all the it's nights. A, it's a mechanic. It all right, after the intro with Mighty Bass Plate. So really only the hardest one is going to be the jukebox character over here that pops out if you fail to reach the timer. And she will pop out and then proceed to one shot you anywhere across the map. What the hell? There we go. So avoid doing that. You can also hold two bullets by the way if you didn't know that. So in order to counter the uh, performer from getting out, really all I gotta do is spam click. But be aware of the blue robot that might sneak up on you. You can hear her walking around. On the first night, you can wind it up to 150 seconds, which is plenty of time. But then now you need to look for the pieces on uh, the map over here. Uh, tender and also gasoline as well. So have fun playing a maze game for about 30 minutes because this can get extremely annoying very fast. Don't forget to wind this up. Do not forget while you are doing this task. This will one shot you and once it's out, you die. Once you got the last item, you will now be uh, told to pour the gas and pour the tender. All you gotta do is look for the giant X's marked across the map. You found an X, spam E, and you gotta do it for however many times the game tells you to do it. These spots are completely randomized, by the way, so don't just follow this video and expect the X's to be in the same spot. It's completely RNG. And then when you're done with that, you gotta flip the lever, which is down here. I'll show you guys. Mural. And then there you go. That's all I gotta do. Um, here's a view of it from over here. And yeah, it's pretty much where you spawn at. You go into this office area, I guess, and you click E on this. And you just won the first night. Yay, free skin. If you go back on the deploy thing, you get night two, which you can tell by the two stars, and I wish to proceed. Huh? Basically, it gets a bit harder now. Delinquent, is that you? After Mighty is done blabbering about some dumb crap, he basically says that there's a new monster that goes after you. He will glow yellow, and you can go into a closet in order to get rid of that. Or... You can just simply do nothing and it will glow red and then you can actually hear him walk behind you do not turn around while this is in this mode he will one shot you do not turn around at all just walk like this around the map if you're scared to uh move your mouse around you can't move it slightly but just never go fully behind because you will die guaranteed and do not go into a closet or the green bathrooms you will die don't forget about the uh, wind-up thing, by the way. Now you have to deal with three mobs all at once. So have fun with that. Go in here. Get rid of that. Walk away from that. And there you go. Only the green bathroom stalls work, by the way, to hide from him. 
Again, do not go into Baffer Styles or the closet. He will one shot you guaranteed when he is red. Okay, got the final one and boom, scat all do. You just won night two and you get this skin. Night three. Ooh, ooh, spooky. Ooh, ooh. So now the game gets a bit harder because, well, not necessarily harder, but now there are fake items meaning that if you pick up three of them you will lose a game immediately which is a bit annoying so if they have black stuff coming out of it that is fake do not pick it up if you do pick it up for some reason it is going to give you like a, 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 a high pitched ringing sound this one is obviously fake you're going to hear a loud ringing sound yeah, like that that's how you know you just got a fake thing don't get three you'll die clutch baby Extra spot, who cares about the performer, flip it on, you won the game. Yeah, baby. Night three, roll record. You did it. Night four and five are basically the same thing. Nothing new changes, it just more so becomes harder by faster AI. Uh, there's less time on the jukebox thing, and they also Hello. go at you more, Hello. so uh, Hello. yellow guy will appear more. And there's more fake stuff and more items required. So just be aware of that. The first skin you get for winning on night one is uh, this one. I forgot the name of the skin character already. But yeah, it's the animatronic of it. I actually don't see this in the game. But yeah, free skin. Cool. Look at his legs, boy. I am. It's literally floating on this character. It is literally floating. Next one is the animatronic ninja. This is one that likes to sneak up behind you and kill you, one-shot you. We obviously see this in the game and it looks pretty cool. This is what you get for winning the third night. You get the performer animatronic. You know. <laughs> You get the rabble rouser so this is the main one that you see on the first night and always pursues you stuff pretty cool and the final top prize is purple guy from finance and phrase or at least it's a, it's a reference you go to the uh default scan you get the slaughter delinquent and then there you go it doesn't actually come in purple team it only looks really cool if you have the purple team already on and yeah i mean it just looks so cool man and there's also particle things on it as well but only i, I don't think you can see it only the opposing players can but yeah this is really cool this is the top tier skin of all time i like this a lot aside from my own john skin it's just look at the face look at that yeah, this is what I meant by like the unusual uh, effect and stuff like that. It just looks really cool. And yeah, those are all the prizes. And I hope that the uh, guide was at least a bit helpful. I don't, I, I don't really expect it to be like god tier because most of the game depends on RNG, and you kind of have to know the know the spot locations and memorize which items are fake in order to get a best time uh it can get uh, very annoying after some gameplay i start to get annoyed and i beat the entire thing like in three hours i could have got faster had i got better spawns and stuff like that but uh yeah that's what it basically boils down to you don't have to do all five nights if you're like too scared or something but after a while playing the jump scares they are no longer scary it just more so becomes annoying and you will actually get annoyed because you will die by not really lack of skill, but rather because of game flaws.